Hi guys, welcome to our pilot channel. In this video, we will see about Monte Carlo analysis. Monte Carlo is one of the techniques used to analyze the uncertainties. There are so many uncertainties which our business undergoes each and every day. You can see a sea freight which is fluctuating every day, a commodity price is fluctuating every day. A supply demand, so all those uncertainties are affecting the business every day. Monte Carlo helps us to analyze the uncertainties and do the risk analysis by business experts. Monte Carlo simulation is used to predict the different probabilities of each outcome and please understand this simulation will help you to validate the system but it will not say this is correct this is not right it will give you a validation output and we have to decide and make the decision now in this video we will show you how to create Monte Carlo simulation using Excel. So many people may not aware that a Monte Carlo simulation can be created using Excel. But we will show you how to create. Before going ahead, I request you to subscribe our channel to watch such fantastic videos which will help you in your professional and business life. In working with Excel on Monte Carlo simulation, we would require an Excel add-in, which is known as YASAI, yet another simulation add-in. Excel independently can't give you a simulation of Monte Carlo for which we need this YASAI add-in to be installed on Excel. It is very, very simple you go to this website. I have given this web link for downloading the add-in in my description, this video description. You can download the uh, add-in from this uh, link. Once you download, go to Excel. So in click files, once you go to files, go to more option and click options in options go to add-ins once you select i have already installed yasai but you will not have yasai add-in in your excel for that you click go and here yasai is shown because i have already installed it but in your case you have to click browse and go to the location where that add-in is downloaded. Maybe probably download, select that add-in, click open, then YASAI add-in will be displayed over here. Click tick mark and click OK. Once you completed with your work, you can see YASAI add-in is shown over here. Now, I will show you how to use this add-in in Monte Carlo simulation. See, I am going to uh, take an example related to supply chain. A company uh, imports different raw material for their uh, business activities and uh, they want to do a budgeting the next one year or probably from January to December, they want to do the budgeting, how much they have to spend uh, for importing of material in next one year. So here in Monte Carlo simulation, uh, we would be taking uh, three different values to do the simulation. One is the minimum, maximum, and most likely. Minimum, 
is something which we are aware of, is the minimum probability, uh, minimum uh, you know, value and maximum also. Most likely something, it can be average, but it no need to be average or mean always. It can be anything which based on the past experience or past data, which the uh, company is uh, deciding on. So here in this case, the company feels that they would import around 150 uh, 40 feet containers load of material uh, minimum and maximum of 350. Most likely they feel in a year they would bring 270 containers and they have calculated the sea freight based on their past data and the future market uh, indications. They feel that may go up to $1,500 and it would reach $4,500 maximum. But in general, you can see $3,300 is what they are feeling they would be spending for uh, sea freight for bringing each 40 feet container. Similarly, 20 feet containers, 120 is minimum, 300 is most likely and 400 is the maximum. Then sea freight also similarly for 20 feet container they have mentioned. Next is they have also mentioned the USD to INR. So here what they have did is they have did taken the data of monthly average of USD to INR from January 2016 till June 2021. Then what they have did is they have did the forecasting up to December 22. So how to do forecasting, I have already posted a video. I have given that uh, link in the description. You can watch and understand how to do forecasting using it. So now this is the average, which is the mean value. Uh, here the company takes that this value is going to be the most likely uh, event and minimum of minimum of those 12 months will be the uh, minimum uh, value of USDA to INR, then maximum of maximum will be the maximum value considered by the company. Then, of course, in case of importing the material, you have to pay duty. Company feels that they have to pay minimum 3 crore rupees as import duty because the import duty varies based on the commodities. In some cases, you pay 10%. In some cases, you pay 7.5%. So it varies uh, between uh, material to material. But uh, on a overall ground, they feel that they have to pay around 3 crore rupees minimum. Most likely, they have to pay around 17 and a half crore. And maximum, they feel it would be around 23.5 crore. So now, in general, Considering this, how much budget they have to keep minimum? See, first is the duty. First part is over. Then they have to calculate the sea freight for 40 feet container. Then they have to calculate the sea freight for 20 feet container and this value has to be multiplied with USD to INR to convert the value to rupees. So minimum the company has to spend 5.47 crore, 5.4691, so 5.47 crore budget they have to allocate minimum. Most likely, they have to keep a budget of around 30.19 crore. Maximum, they have to keep 46.98 crore. Now, we will be using Monte Carlo to validate whether whatever this budget of most likely, because the company pretend to budget on the most likely event, whether this 30.19 is sufficient or not. 
Now, I am giving this heading as simulation. So, once you ins uh, install SIE, you will get a formula of gen. I am selecting gen triangular in this case. First, once I select that formula, first I am selecting minimum value, comma, most likely, comma, maximum. Close the bracket, click enter. So here the containers can't be a decimal value. So I am converting that to an integer. See, this value will give a, a random output. If I click F9 and refresh, each and every time Excel will simulate some different value, but that will be within this range. So next, I am just copy pasting the same formula. So Excel has did the simulation. I am copying the same formula. So, but you may feel that 27.85 budget is sufficient, but I would say it is not so. Once I click F9, see it has become 26. Again, it becomes 26.64. Now it went down to 15.82. So each and every time Excel is giving some different result. So now we would have seen in doing some experiment, we try to do experiment for multiple times and take the result, um, whatever the mean average and whatever the output we would be getting, uh, that we will take as the final result. So what we are going to do is we are going to conduct the simulation for something around 1000 times. Based on that simulation of 1000 times, we will come to a conclusion and validate this calculation of most likely value. So now, what I am going to do, go to add-in, go to SIE, click simulation, and click the sample size as 1000. No need to be 1000, you can do it for 10,000, 5000, whatever you feel. So here right now, I am taking 1000. Oh, sorry, before going ahead, I have to do one more thing, which is simulation output. I have to select the simulation output because this is the value is I am going to simulate because SIE requires a simulation output. Now I am going to simulate. So it can be 2000 times also. So I am simulating this output 2000 times. So YASA is working on the simulation 2000 times. If just think about if we have to simulate and keep the track of the result 2000 times, it would be taking so much amount of time. But with this Excel add-in within few seconds, you can see that 2000 observations and we can see the mean value is less than the most likely, which is 25.39 crore. Maximum is around 38.31 crore among this uh, 2000 uh, observations. Maximum is around 38 crore, but still, can we go ahead with 25.39 crore, crore budgeting? No, of course not. Still, you have to do one more step. Go to SIE, go to charts. This variable E4 is nothing but, E14 is nothing but where the simulation output is connected. So go to charts, E14, I'm selecting that. 
there is histogram and cumulative plot. I'm selecting cumulative plot and click make chart. See, a cumulative chart has come up. So once you can see the 25 crore, which has been confirmed is near to 50% probability. So if I am taking the mean value, I can be confident only 50% that my budgeting is correct. Instead, if I am taking 30 crore, for example, so which is somewhere here on this table, so which is something near to uh, 80 around, which is something 30 crore is around 18. So you, if you are selecting 30 crore, which is the most likely you can be sure that approximately 80%. So if you are struggling with the chart, you can go to the chart data. So in that, you can see the 80%, whatever the 30 crore, which is coming, which is around 85%, 30 point, what is the value? 30.19. So we have to go up further so 30 points so around you can be confident around 83 percent but still you are at a risk of around 16 to 17 percent in this case so now the company is deciding that i can take risk of only five percent so which means you have to be confident that in 95% of the times, the budget should not exist. So whatever the budget has been decided now, in 90, we should be confident that 95% the budget will not exceed in the upcoming year. For that, what we have to do, we have to go up to 95% confidence level. See. Based on this 2000 observations, so the company, if they want to be confident of 95% confidence level, they have to allocate a budget of around 32.51 crores, 52 crores probably. So then only they can confident that the budget allocated will not exceed beyond this value. So by this, the company can allocate sufficient budget and avoid the risk at a later stage. If the company has to spend 200 lakhs, it will be a difficult situation for the finance person. They may raise different questions to the supply chain professional, it's the procurement manager or to, uh, the logistic manager here. But instead, if he had validated in this way and based on these observations, if he claims that around 32.52 crore is the spend expenditure the company has to make for importing the uh, materials in next one year. And the manager also can be confident that he's 95% sure because he has already did with the Monte Carlo analysis. So hope you have learned how to do Monte Carlo analysis using Excel. And I'm sure you would like this video. Please click like button and share with your friends so that they will also know about this technique. And if you have any queries, please comment and we will post one more Monte Carlo video for procurement point of view and procurement point of view. So that will be end of the session and thanks for watching. Bye bye.